Number one, M13, the Great Hercules Cluster. If you're going to capture just one globular cluster, this is the one, but you're going to need at least a 600 to 1000 millimeter telescope to frame this nicely. Number two, NGC 6888, the Crescent Nebula. This small little space nugget is interesting looking, to say the least. You can use anything from a wide field telescope like a Red Cat 51 to a Celestron Edge HD 8 to frame this. It looks amazing any way you frame it, thanks to all of the surrounding nebulosity. Number three, IC 1318 or the Seder Region Butterfly Nebula. Located in the heart of Cygnus, this sprawling field of nebulosity is best taken with the widest field telescope you can get, even like a 135mm Rokinon lens. Number 4. NGC 7000, the North American Nebula. Probably the most famous astrophotography target. It was the first target I ever shot. Located right near the large star Deneb, it's easy to find even without a go-to mount. It works best with a wide field telescope. Number five, the Pelican Nebula. This one can often be framed with or without our friend the North American Nebula if you have a wide field setup. We'll take a 135 millimeter lens or a 250 millimeter lens with an APS-C sensor to get both in one frame. But you can also shoot it on its own. I shot mine with my AstroTech AT-115 EDT at 644 millimeters. Number six, M16, the Eagle Nebula. This is another target that is interesting no matter which way you shoot it. 250 millimeters, great. 650 millimeters, even more great. And 1800 millimeters, just awesome. I took this at 644 millimeters with my AstroTech AT-115 EDT. Number seven, NGC 6960 or the Veil Nebula. Another versatile target. You can capture the entire Veil Nebula with a wide field telescope, a close up of the Witch's Burn part with 650 millimeters, and go for Pickering's Triangle with a 1500 millimeter telescope. It's huge, and there's just so much to shoot here. Number eight, the Elephant Trunk Nebula. Another amazing target that looks great no matter how you shoot it. I've only shot this wide field, but many people like to shoot this with a larger focal length and only get the Elephant Trunk's part. Number nine, NGC 7822, otherwise known as the Cosmic Question Mark. This nebula looks like a question mark. Surprise! This is a huge wide field object. In fact, I had to do a mosaic. That means two panels of it on my wide field telescope because it's so big. And last, number 10, M31, the Andromeda Galaxy. This galaxy is the closest galaxy to our galaxy, the Milky Way. You could frame the whole thing with a wide field telescope and an astronomy camera. 